Peter Kennedy here from PKYS. Today I'm going to talk about the Victron VRM remote management software. The Victron VRM is a way to put your Victron system online and make it available for remote viewing. That way you can check in with it, get alarms, share it with your installer, make changes, and troubleshoot. If you want, you can also share it with the public as these users have done. In order to set it up, you'll need a Serbo GX or one of the other GX devices. The first thing you have to do is get your system online. You can connect to your phone or a Wi-Fi hotspot. Go to Settings, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Networks, and here you see we've already connected this system. Next, we want to go to Settings, VRM Online Portal, and take a note of your VRM Portal ID, which is what you will need for the next step. Next, set up your VRM account. Go to vrm.victronenergy.com and make yourself a login and password. You will have to verify your email address. Then go to Add Installation and enter your portal ID and give your installation a name. It's important to give it a name that can be easily remembered. If you don't give your installation a name, it will auto-generate a name that is much harder to find in a long list. Your system must be online while you complete this step. This gets you up and running, but it's not enough to get advanced tech support. There are a few more things that you have to do to get detailed tech support remotely. The first three things have to be done in person on your local installation. Go to Settings, VRM Portal, Enable Two-Way Communication. Then go to Settings, General, Remote Support, and Enable Remote Support. And the last thing you have to do locally is go to Settings, Remote Console, Enable on VRM. This will require a reboot of the servo. Go to Settings, General, Reboot. Back to the VRM online page. When we go to Advanced to look at our widgets, you'll see there aren't any. We have to enable them first. There are so many options it's a bit confusing at first, so my approach is to enable everything and later go back and disable the ones that are not of interest. The widgets are where you can really examine your system if you think something unusual is happening. For example, you can adjust the time scale to look at just one hour of data. Here you see I have a widget for every attribute I selected above and have set it to show the last hour. There is a graph showing what happened to each parameter during that time. One last thing to do on the VRM is invite other people to look at your site. The share option lets other people view the site and this is where you would share it on Victron World. This is not the option to use if you want tech support. For that you have to go to Settings, Users and invite a user. If you want detailed support you will have to give your user full control. A browser isn't the only place you can view your system online. You can also open the Victron Connect app on your phone, tablet, or computer and connect to the individual devices just like you would if you were right beside them. Here you see our devices in the local window because we are right beside it, but when we're away from the system you can open it in the online portal and connect to the devices just as if you were there in person. I hope this gave you the necessary information to get your system online and get set up to get remote support. At PKYS, we regularly give support to our customers. Here's a screenshot of some of the systems we have access to all over the world. That's why I asked you to name your system so as I can find it in this list. If this was all a bit fast, there is a written version of this on the PKYS blog so you can follow along. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and look at our other videos. This is just one of a series.